Hi, I'm Deborah Cooney and you're watching Wellness Rocks TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade coleslaw with a cashew tahini dressing or a mayo. And it's really simple to make, only takes minutes and you know exactly what's in it. So what you're going to need is 65 grams of red cabbage, 150 grams of white cabbage, 50 grams of sweet potato, which I've peeled, 50 grams of celeriac, again it's peeled, and 50 grams of apple, which has been peeled. I also have 25 grams of spring onion and 25 grams of sunflower seeds that have been soaked for 30 minutes and drained for about 15 minutes. So all I need to do firstly is grate all these um, ingredients up. But if you haven't got a food processor, don't worry about it. You can just cut the cabbage really finely with a knife and then you can grate the sweet potato, celeriac and the apple. Just grate it with a grater. That's perfect. That'll work fine. This is just quicker for me when I'm doing videos. And I have quite a wide toothed grater on this, so I don't want it like really skinny. I just want it with a little bit of bite in it. So I'll just get this much done first. And that's it completely grated. Now, actually, before I go any further, I got this recipe from this book called Honestly Healthy. It is a super little book, um, lots of alkalizing diets. So if you see it in your local bookstore, pick it up. It is brilliant. So let's move this actually move over and we pop these into a bowl. Move all this out of the way. Now you can see there's lovely colors in here now. We have the red, the orange, the green, it's beautiful. Pop those out. Fantastic, and there's gorgeous smells coming off this. I love the smell of uh, raw cabbage rather than cooked cabbage. I much prefer the, the smell of raw. Gorgeous, so now you can see the colors coming together. When you do the grating with the food processor, you might find really chunky pieces like this. You can take them out if they bother you. Now into that, I'm going to pop the sunflower seeds. And I'm also going to put in the spring onion. So obviously with the sunflower seeds, we're getting protein and we're also getting healthy fats in there. So omega-6 healthy fats. Just mix that up. Lovely stuff. Now for the amazing mayo dressing. This is fantastic. Often with mayonnaise, you don't know what kind of oils have been used in it. Did they use a really good quality or is it like a low grade vegetable oil that was used? So with this, you know exactly what's in there. So what you need is a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Uh, the juice of half a lime goes in. I have a teaspoon of cashew butter. Now, this is gorgeous. And if you have never heard of cashew butter, you get it in lots of places. They, you can actually get it in Dunn's and Tesco now but you'll also get it in the health food store. And I use this make here, it's called Meridian. I really like it because there is no added palm oil or there's no salt or no sugar added to this. It's just 100% cashew butter. And I'm using a heaped tablespoon of tahini paste. And again, Meridian will do that. You want a light tahini taste unless you're used to it and then you can put in a darker one, but the light is nice. It's really easy to use. And all that goes. Then we have some miso and it's looking for, the recipe looks for a half a teaspoon of white miso. I don't have white miso, I only have the soup miso and I'm not going to head off buying it. I'm going to use this one and I've used it before, it's been perfect. So improvise a little. Maybe I'll use a little bit more, lovely. It gives a nice, um, taste and again you get this in your local supermarket or in the health food store so just give that a stir up and then all i need is two cloves of garlic and just crush them in and that'll give it a nice kick i love garlic i put in way more if i got away with it stinking than the garlic for the day but it's beautiful 
and in that goes. And all that's left to do now is put in a little bit of salt and pepper into both. Now I'm not a huge fan of pepper. I don't use very much of it. I'm just going to use a small amount in the actual mix here. I'm not even going to put it into the dressing. Um, I just find it too hot for me. I don't like the, the heat of it. So this is pink Himalayan salt. And just put in a pinch in here and put in a more generous pinch in here. And then some black pepper. And in goes the mayonnaise mix. Isn't that gorgeous? And the great thing about this is you're, you know exactly what's going in. You're not wondering what ingredients are in there. You know. This is lovely with a salad or with, I've had it with turkey burgers. It's been really, really tasty. So it's delicious and it's versatile. You can also use it in wraps or you can put it into, um, into pita, anything like that. And just mix all that up. And you have a gorgeous coleslaw mix that's healthy, that's going to feed your cells. It tastes good. It's just beautiful. So it takes a little bit more mixing. Obviously, I'm not going to keep going with this, but you just mix it for maybe another minute or so and you get it, all the vegetables completely coated. Now, if you're not a fan of any of the ingredients there, switch them up. If you don't like sweet potato, try some carrot. Or if you don't like the celeriac, just put in something else. Just make it to suit yourself. But I just thought it was a fantastic recipe when I saw it and I said I had to share it. That's it. That's your homemade coleslaw done and dusted. So if you have any questions or you'd like to leave comments, please leave them into the box below. Click here to sign up to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you could share this video out on Facebook, Twitter or whatever so, ever social media you're on, I'd appreciate it. And you'd think by now I'd be so used to saying this at the end of the videos, I would just sail through. But no, I'm stumbling over today. And finally, if you'd like to receive these videos on a weekly basis, just pop your details into the box below and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.